Uh, so just to sort of give a flavour of some of the things we'll be looking at next time, um, so we've looked at regression where we've got this simple linear equation. It's worth knowing that you can also make that a little bit more complicated into what's known as a multiple regression equation. And the only thing that happens with that is rather than just having one sort of x value or, or variable in the equation, you can have several. And so you can try and predict something from several different uh, values and have them all in the same equation. So you're now not just in two dimensions, you're in several dimensions, but you're still trying to get a straight line through the data. For example, you might be in a situation where you've measured calf birth weight and you, you know, the mother's weight, the father's weight, the gestation of a calf. And this would be a multiple regression equation trying to predict calf birth weight from those factors. And that might be quite useful because y it might help you predict in the future how heavy calves of certain parents are going to be based on sort of multiple measurements. And another thing multiple regression is useful for is, uh, another thing this equation would say is, what's calf birth weight, what's the effect of mother's weight on calf birth weight after, effect, after taking into account the father's weight and the gestation of the, which the calf is, is born at. So it has this other role of adjusting your analysis for other potentially confounding factors. But uh, we'll look at that next time. Another type of regression that you may have heard of because it's quite a popular type of regression is logistic regression. And I think the only thing to sort of take note of today is that logistic regression is suitable for binary outcomes. So rather than trying to predict a measurement, you're trying to predict something that does happen or doesn't happen. So you're trying to predict a probability based on your equation. Rather than write the data the, the equation, the model like this, you could say that I want to predict a probability and my outcome is going to be that probability plus or minus an error. But then you do this transformation so that the probability is put on a real scale because probabilities can only go from naught to one, but that's not much good. You'd be in trouble if you predicted sort of a value of two or minus something. So that's why this transformation gets used and that sort of shows for this transformation which is sometimes called a logit and it can have a, that, a range from minus infinity up to infinity so it's on the real scale it's going to translate a, a probability into this, this scale and the probability will take a value from 0 to 1 so don't worry too much about this curve or anything but just that logistic regression is suitable for binary data